can tweed be custom designed like custom tartans? Yeah. That's how estate tweeds are developed. Um, originally, estate tweeds are, I'm not sure how they registered them, but to be honest, but they do keep a record of them. And each estate has a tweed, which is what they would outfit the uh, the gameskeepers and the, the ghillies in. Yeah. So yes, there is such a thing as custom tweeds. How you would acquire one and how much it would cost, I have no clue. I know they exist, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure how you would acquire one being a person here in the States. Yeah, it's there's no like tweed design program, so we'll start there. The um, and it's if it's herringbone, I'm trying to I'm going through the 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 issue that I have mentally with the tweeds. Like, yes, yeah, somebody has to design tweeds, so obviously something yeah. can be done. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it would cost. Um, the other issue becomes um, outside of cost becomes viewing it because tweeds generally have a nice earthy feel and, and texture, visual mm -hmm. visual texture to it, um, and the herringbone pattern uh, or the chevrons, if, if you will. Um, will will they, they they're like different colors mixed so the warp and the weft can be different so how could you look at it long <clears throat> distance yeah so it's, yeah i don't know how how to mock it up i know sean and i know he's already planning it and he's like oh yep. I, he already has his email yep. open rocky you need to have a, tar a, a tweet yep. designer so i can yep. go on there i'm yep. gonna buy 87 you know, it's i know you sean um so <laughs> it's the issue is going to become uh, showing a visual representation of it before it is woven without having to spend all the money to see if you like it or not. Yeah. Because um, a lot of times it's two different colors mixed. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting concept. It I mean, is an interesting didn't concept. I think about that. I, I think, yeah, I think usually, again, estate tweeds are designed in a very personalized process. It's a very much a bespoke kind of a thing. And so the person who's commissioning the tweed um, they're probably choosing ba something they want based on samples they've already seen, saying, "Oh, I like the one they used over in Abernathy, and uh, I like this one from you know from from this estate really well. Can you do something like that?" And then the tweed designer says, "Okay, sure," and they probably weave a sample or something like that. But you're talking about enough tweed to outfit the staff of a of a large gaming estate. Yeah. So that's. Sean's that's, that's talking about different. enough tweed to outfit himself. Yeah, which means the cost would go whoop. You know, regardless, but yeah. So, Sean, email me. I will happily take all of your money and learn at your expense. It'd be fine. And not to not to disparage Sean as no, a, no, as, no. A man, a, Sean. as a man of fashion and 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 a graceful persnicketiness. But how persnickety do you want to be? There are, there are hundreds of really beautiful tweeds out there. Um, I don't think it's hard to find one that you like, in my opinion, or even several. I mean, you have. I own like three or four different tweeds. How many do you have in your collection? Yeah, enough. <laughs> yeah, just basically to go with Enough. the tartan, you know. So yeah. it's uh, <clears throat> it's not hard to find ones that you like. If if you're interested in tweed, I think you can find something that will match whatever your particular tartan is or whatever your style is without too much trouble. Yeah, but uh, there, there's a lot of tweeds or tweeds don't necessarily go to match tartans, uh, going beyond what we're it's talking like they, about. They can. Yeah, they, they they happen to right. more than the, more than most. Right. Um, but there's a lot of them that are browns and grays and like greenish gray or greenish browns or yellowish brown, tan kind of colors. Hunting colors. Yeah. That yeah. that go better for hunting or for estates than they do to match tartans. Um, so if he's looking for something like that or it's there's if the majority of them are that, but he's looking for something to match a kilt, then that may be why he's trying to do this something. This is Sean like that. we're talking about. I am assuming that he is planning on 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 figuring out the, the, the design of tweed he wants and then ordering a tweed kilt, a tweed waistcoat, jacket, a tweed vest, jacket, enough for his hat, curtains. yeah, hat, Inverness cloak. He's gonna do a sofa plus in fours. It. Yep. Yeah, and and seat covers for his car. Yep. Which I'm pretty exactly. sure is a Jaguar. Right, right, Sean, you drive a drag. And just put it on his walls, and bed cover. Just wrap himself up in it. Straight jacket. Exactly. Coffin yeah. liner. It's gonna get enough for everything. Yep. Yeah. Indeed. Let us know, Sean. <laughs> Hope that helps. <laughs> All right, Mr. Eric. It is an interesting question. Now I want to it research. Is. Yeah. I want to research. I never uh, thought about it. I've always seen I've seen documentation, you know, very romanticized uh, documentaries about estates and how they operate. It's like, yes, well, the tweed that we ordered for, you know, his lordship is is yeah. green, and we we were very proud to outfit all the gillies last year. You know, but they don't talk about the process of how the design was developed. Yeah, there was. So a, I'd like to know. A, what's the company named Campbell of Buley or Campbell, something like Campbell, that? Campbell, yeah. Um, yes. There's a company, yes. I believe it's in the Highlands, mm -hmm. um, who's done a whole lot yes. of estate tweeds and stocks them for different estates in their area. Um, so it's it has to it it is done. 
I've just never explored the process. So that's actually one of the cool things about this show is you guys asking us stuff that we don't know the answers to. So mm -hmm. now we got to look into it. Yep. Boys and girls, we hope you liked the video. Please remember, we are on all the socials. So check us out over on our uh, Facebook page. Check us out on Instagram. And please, if you're here on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications when we add new videos. Thanks, guys.